Today we're going to be talking about why I love titanium hardtails. So if all things were created equal, I would always pick a metal frame over a carbon frame because metal withstands bumps and bruises and crashes and tipping over far better than carbon does. Carbon is plenty strong, but it doesn't have the impact resistant that metal does. So I like a good metal frame. And my favorite metal is titanium. First off, titanium doesn't rust or oxidize. Aluminum doesn't rust quite like steel does where it turns a different color and gets all grimy, but aluminum does oxidize. We've seen that before where it kind of gets hazy or gets that kind of scummy look on it. That's actually aluminum oxidizing. Well, the titanium that we use on hardtails does not rust. It does not oxidize. It doesn't have to be painted. It's super, super low maintenance. So I love that about titanium. I don't have to worry if water accidentally got in here, if it's gonna rust out in a couple years, or if gross rusty water is gonna pour out of the drain holes. It's just not gonna happen because it's titanium. I also love the way titanium looks. I love that it's found on the space shuttle. I love its exotic nature. I love that it's less common. It is a lot more expensive though. And part of the reason is because when they weld it, they have to make it completely airtight and, and put some gas inside of it when they're welding it so that it doesn't contaminate the welds. So that adds a lot of complexity and cost to the manufacturing of it. I also love the ride feel of titanium. Titanium rides a lot like steel when done correctly. And if you've watched Dan Stanton's videos, he's got a really cool one I'm gonna link up here that you should watch about how he can get the ride feel that he wants out of titanium um, without taking it to the very, very limit like he has to with steel. So his idea with steel is let's get the tubing as thin as possible without it getting so weak that it breaks. So it's like just thin enough to pass ISO testing. Whereas on the titanium, he's got more room to play with so he can get that same ride feel without having to go too thin on the tubing. I also love the weight of titanium. A titanium frame like this frame compared to the steel middle child is two pounds lighter and that is significant. So you can still get a nice supple frame with titanium without it weighing a ton. Almost every tie frame is gonna weigh less than a steel frame and even aluminum frames. So it's pretty awesome how light you can get it to still get that robust metal construction, but still get that nice supple feel that you normally attribute to a steel frame. I love looking at the TIG welds on titanium frames. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And you can get those same beautiful welds on a steel frame and aluminum frames have beautiful welds as well when done correctly. But I just love how titanium frames are usually done in raw as well. Some people paint them. Uh, for aesthetic reasons, but I love the raw aspect that you can see the welds. I love that there's not a top coat. I love that, you know, it gets nicks and scratches and it's easy to fix up. That's one of my number one favorite things about titanium. I had a bike rack on here and it rubbed on this while it was um, going down the trail on the Colorado Trail. And if this had been painted, it would have rubbed all the paint off and gone down to the steel and rusted it and been a problem. But let me show you how easy it is to touch up a brushed titanium frame. So here's our mark from the rack that I had on it. Marks here and here. This is a simple Scotch-Brite pad. Watch what this does in 30 seconds or less. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It looks brand new. You can't even tell that those were there. It never did any damage. It's just... So easy to touch up. Oh, I still got a little bit more there to do. <sighs> Done. It looks completely brand new. Compare that seat stay to this one that still has the rub marks. I can't tell you how much peace of mind that gives me when I'm mounting things to it or when I see a cable rubbing, or if I scratch it a little bit on a tree or on a fence or on a rock, I know I can just buff it right out. And you treat your bike totally differently. You ride it differently when you can do that. And that is enormous. If this had been painted or carbon, it would have been ruined right there and absolutely ugly. But I can just completely buff it out in 30 seconds and touch up my frame whenever I want. That's amazing. And a lot of people don't know that you can do that with titanium. Now, if your titanium's 
highly polished like a mirror finish, you're not going to be able to buff it out like that. Um, or if it's sandblasted, you're not going to be able to either. You have to re-sandblast that area. So there you go. Titanium is my number one favorite frame material because it's robust, it doesn't dent, it doesn't rust, it looks beautiful, and it's super easy to touch up. It's light, and it usually has a great ride feel. That's pretty incredible. And when you look at it, titanium frames are significantly more expensive than steel. Is it worth it? It depends. If you're on a budget and you're just trying to get a great riding hardtail, you definitely do not need to go titanium. But if mountain biking is your jam and this is your thing and you just want to treat yourself to something really nice that's going to look great and you've saved up and you really want to treat yourself, man, I think titanium is the way to go. It is such a cool frame material. Anyway, have you had a titanium bike? I'm curious what you think about it and what you liked about it. What's your ideal frame material? Post in the comments below. Thanks for watching. There's a party in the mountains and you're invited.